Hi, this is Cyprian from FEF4. Today I made this video because I was talking for a long time about uh, open source FEA and I promised to you that I will tell you how to actually install it on your computer. So today we had the release of Salome 2017 and I decided that was the right occasion to actually uh, jump into it and show you step by step how to get it on your computer running and how to do FEA with it. So uh, actually open source FEA is a great opportunity because it has a lot of capabilities but it's not necessarily very easy to install as I mentioned previously so a lot of people have problems to understand how it works and maybe because it's uh, based on Linux system so we'll, you will have first to have a Linux machine working uh, and if you don't, actually, you can also install it on a PC. And that's why I decided to make those videos to show you how to actually do that. You don't need to have a, li a Linux system. You can use uh, something called VirtualBox to actually set up your own Linux machine on your PC. So it's not difficult to do. And I decided to take some video of the whole process, showing you step by step how to install VirtualBox, how to install Linux Ubuntu on it. Uh, I'll show you also a few basic comments of uh, Linux Ubuntu that you should know if you never used Linux. And then we'll install together Salome Maker 2017 uh, and after that of course we'll try to use it in order to make some kind of nice FEA projects. So I hope you enjoyed this series of videos because it took me a lot of time to make. Uh, and I hope it will be useful for your, uh, to grow your FEA skills and also become much more able to do this kind of FEA project with open source FEA software such as Codaster and Salome Prepost. So let's go, let's start right now. So I wake up this morning with a very good uh, surprise, Salome Mecha 2017 is finally released. So we have a full new uh, Salome Mecha with a much better interface than uh, before and uh, I will now install it. So I decided to make uh, videos in order to show you how to actually install it because it's not necessarily uh, easy for first, first uh, comers and FEA beginners who really want to tap into the power of uh, open source FEA. So if we take a look at the installation process basically it tells us to uncompress the file we download and just run this dot run. But the main problem is that you have to use Linux. So for those who uh, don't know about Linux and have a Windows machine uh, like the one I am on right now, how do you actually uh, install the Salome Maker 2017, right? There must be some way. So, the let's say the the most uh, the most straightforward way, but uh, not the most easy, would be to download Linux uh, and then create a new partition on your hard drive to install Linux and then restart as a Linux system and then you know download. Uh, Salome Maker and just install it on your Linux partition. Now, if you don't want to do that, uh, you still want to use your Windows computer, but you want to be able to have and run Linux at the same time. Well, there's someone called uh, there's something called VirtualBox that will help you to uh, install Linux install inside a box. So it's a, some kind of virtual machine that uh, will install on her PC that will help us to install Linux inside our PC without having to uh, partition the hard drive. In the next video I'll show you how to install Linux Ubuntu on your virtual box in order to install uh, open source FEA uh, Salome Mecha. So if you are on YouTube you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog, fea4all.com, uh, and click in the category open source FEA, and you'll find all the articles 
I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.